impact is an even three inches from the front to back. Wow. And what this does is it makes it easier for users when they're making inside measurements. Oh, so they, now they just add an even three. Yeah. As opposed to a decimal. Wow. Sweet. So, you guys are smart, man. Case. And we carry that compact over to our 16 foot as well. Wow. This, What's this little area for here? This little area right here? Oh, no, the chrome thing. So this is what we're calling a two-way tether hole. You okay. can tether the product either way. But what wow. you can also do is you can drive a nail through that chrome, chrome hole and pull this out and you scribe arcs. What? Dude, that is insane. I've never seen that in a tape of you, Eric. No. Dude, that is good. Scribe a nine inch arc, just like that. Wow. So you guys are really thinking like, instead of more than just a tape measure, you're really starting to. Yeah, we talked to users for, for years on these tape measures and we tried to incorporate some of the biggest feedback that we heard from them. Um, one of the things was also the, the end hook right here. I don't know if you noticed, we have a diamond abrasive end hook. Oh, it was, grips. It, when the user has an obstacle to measure around. Wait, oh yeah, hold it right there because I want to just get in on that. A lot of that. times, they have to walk around that obstacle to measure, like say an outside unit. Right. Look how far out I can come with it. Walk around that unit. Oh, because it's holding that grip. tape measure like this. This is actually the uh, Lufkin tape measure. And I was so impressed. If you look at the night vision on it. But check this out. Wow, look at the stand out on that thing. Let's see when it breaks. What the? Wow, that was pretty crazy. Check this out. Uh oh, when is it gonna break? It better break soon because I got a big wall behind me. What? Crazy, you guys. Night vision right on the tape. 12 feet, 12 feet. Wow. Okay. And look at the markings on that, man. That's just, is this the one that can drop to survive the drop, too? Yes. What? Is they said the they threw You guys, they threw it off of there yeah. and it landed and there was no problem. 100 foot drop test. Let's hit it with a sledgehammer. All right, let's go. Oh, it's the Crescent Boys. What's up, man? Apex. Team Apex. All right. Wow, look, look at this standout. Look at that. Look at this. Now, this is a demo. I've never seen this before. This is good. This is good. Look at this, you guys. So where's the sledgehammer? Oh, this is it. Right here. Oh, you got one in there. Well, That's if you crazy. Take that sledgehammer today. <laughs> yeah. You guys, check this out. So you guys are totally outfitting the pro, right? What else do we have from you guys here with your tapes? So we got little um, six footers, twenty five footers. Now, are they all shock force? So we have our shock force series with our, our night eye blades, black blades, and yellow blades. Then we also have our new revamped control series. You see a familiar what design all about? to protect that lock button and that tape, but we also have the finger break feature. Oh, that's huge. For the user yeah, the guys that are quick users. And 12 feet of standout, yep. Wow. Man, that 12 feet of standout is crazy because you really have to either, you, you kind of have to make that thicker or something, right? How do you get that standout? It, there's a number of things that go into it. Uh, it has to do a lot with the, the shape of the blade. Yeah? And the way we shape it. Oh, yeah, because I mean, that's probably why it has the curve in it, eh? That helps. Exactly. And we, we carry it on with the legibility from the Shark Force as well. You have those large numbers, which our pros really seem to like. Yep. Finger feature, compact case, and protected lock button still. Cool, cool. So what's the standout Sweet. on the Shark Force model? You guys, Crescent Tools, part of the Apex Tool Group, uh, Gear Wrench, all that stuff. Great company, great people to deal with, and they build really high quality tools. And they build a lot of OEM stuff too. So if you buy another branded name, you're going to, it's probably built by Apex. So, uh, actually, they got a, a the Crescent crescent bag. We just got this. We're going to be reviewing this at some point. What's this? Swag. Look at the swag, you guys. Look at the swag. That's cool. Hey, can we have some swag? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, man. What? All right. I didn't bring a pickup truck, but we're going to have to go back and get the truck now. Check this out, you guys. So, totally hooking up the pros at Lowe's with Crescent. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.